let's talk about connecting these panels in series and in parallel. Let's go. What up? I'm Ive. I'm selling these panels to a local viewer, so it's a little hard to say goodbye. <laughs> but they're making room for other panels. All right, let's hook these up in series first. Really simple, super easy. You just connect the male to the female of the other panel, done. Pretty easy. You end up with these two cables and you just hook up your, wait, let me show you. So in real life, you would have an extension cable, right? You would take your extension cable. You can't mess this up. Female interfaces with that one. I'm not gonna snap it because I need to pack these up. <laughs> that one interfaces with that one so you would end up with it looking like that bam you literally can't mess this up and then those panels are in series. oh look at this this is broken Ugh, that sucks when you connect your panels in series the volts are combined so this is a 21 volt panel 21 volt panel Combine them, you get 40.2 or 42 volts because it's 20 point, it's 21. So that's series. It is important to note that most smaller power stations cannot accept this voltage. You know how I added it up to be 40. Most power stations, your small jackeries, your eco flows, whatever, they typically tell you that the voltage input is anywhere from like 10 to 28. So this being 40 it would either fry it hopefully your power station is smart enough to not accept that power or it'll mess it up to do parallel you need these cables the good thing about series is that you don't have to buy anything to put panels in series you need to buy these to put them in parallel so let's do that the parallel situation looks like this two females two males you connect the two to either panel because you can't connect this to both panels even if you tried so you got to go male into female of this one i'm not going to snap them in because why bother with mc4 connectors being stuck male to female of this one you do the same thing here and you do the same thing here you end up with a similar situation one female one male you can't mess this stuff up you can't so the same situation, you take your extension, you come over here with your extension cable or your just regular MC4 cable. You plug that into its corresponding coupling, done. Now, one thing you wanna notice about this is how short and tight these cables are. So there's another scenario where you can put extension cables in between your parallel cables. That gets a little more advanced, but if you got this, then you can do that. What it would essentially look like is you put your extension cable maybe like a six foot from here over to here and then you give yourself a gap to separate these panels. Otherwise they'll be pretty tight. Um, parallel combines the amps. These are both 5.5 amp panels so you end up with 10 amps. The important thing you need to know about amps, a lot of power stations have an amp input limit. Think about the EB70, it can only take in eight amps. So even when you combine both of these panels together, that device won't allow anything more than eight amps. Now, there are some three-way parallel cables and some four-way parallel cables. You need to be very mindful of that because every time you connect a panel in parallel, it combines the amps. So let's say you do four, you're gonna end up with 20 amps. And I've been told by Solar Will, Will Prouse, and Armand Allen, that when you do that, you may have to put a fuse on it. So I wouldn't recommend going over two panels, maybe three. Three is the most I would do because that gets you right at 15 amps. Another little bit of a trickier thing that may be harder to wrap your mind around, depending on your level of understanding of this. If you put both of these panels in parallel right parallel combines the amps so they end up being a 20 volt pairing with 10 amps this panel right here is a 200 watt panel it is a 20 volt panel with 10 amps i'm rounding up so you could essentially combine these two panels in parallel 
end up with your single cord, right? Let me reconnect these real quick. You could essentially then connect this end of this MC4 connector, this is female, to the male end of that panel, right? And then you have a parallel combo that essentially will act as a single solar panel. And then you could put both of these in series. Now it's a little hard to show that with the configuration here. Actually, let me just try. I'll, I'll try and show you, hold on. I really care about y'all getting this because <laughs> I hate disconnecting my panels. So you can see male, female, parallel connectors, male, female. If you connect this male, right, to this panel's female, then you're only gonna, I can't show you because the wire is literally too short. I just, I can't do it. So you would end up with a female on this side that's not connected. This, this male right here would be connected to this female and then you would end up with this being open. So this male being open and that female being open with that female being connected to that parallel connectors male, these panels are now in series. And what that does is that gives you 400 watts that doesn't <laughs> drag down each other because they are essentially looking at it as this is one instance of 200 watts, 10 amps, that's another instance of 200 watts, 10 amps. They are in series. Remember, series combines the voltage. So it ends up being a 42 volt, 10 amp configuration. And then you would plug your extension cable or your MC4 cable into this whole thing. And you would end up with 400 watts in a series parallel connection. Watch this a few times if you don't understand that. <laughs> but I wanted to explain it because some people get it and they see the benefit. This would benefit me greatly if I had like a EB150 because that can take in up to 60 volts, right? And I think like 10 amps, which is fine because this is 40 volts. Remember in series, you combine the volts, 20 volt array, 20 volt array because it's in parallel, right? Remember, parallel combines the amps, not the volts. The volts stay the same. The reason why this works is because there's no mismatch here. It's a 20 volt, 20 volt, 10 amp, 10 amp. I'm, I mean those together. So that could work. That's 400 watts at 10 amps, 40 some odd volts. The EB120, the EB240, the AC200P, the AC200 Max. 400 watts on paper going into that through a single cable plugging directly into your power station all right i hope that made sense it's i've hollow <music>